Hi Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check out your other placements for additional messages as this is a general reading. Messages may or may not apply. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't for the next person. I could be picking up on someone around you or someone you could be dealing with so you might have to swap the roles and if this reading doesn't resonate right away, it may be something that happens down the line. If you'd like, you can keep it in your back pocket or come back at a later time. We're going to take a look into what messages need to come through for you guys for this week. See what you guys could be currently dealing with or what you can expect. Get some insight with some guidance overall see what's going on for you guys if you guys are interested you can go follow me over on instagram at Stone tarot and with that being said let's get right into this reading starting off with some animal oracle messages for gemini summonizing venus for this upcoming week what's going on for gemini please weekly messages for gemini summonizing venus weekly messages for gemini we're ready let's get into this message oh there we go elephant um pisces just had this card come out so you may have pisces in your chart messages for okay got a lot to say and the otter okay so there's some sort of block that's been getting in the way of you guys fully tapping into this fun childlike energy there's something that's getting in the way there's some sort of block whether this is fear whether this is the worry about judgment from others other people's opinions or you guys being overly critical on yourself there's some sort of block that's been preventing you from tapping into this fun childlike energy where you guys can fully express yourself and be creative there's something that's been getting in the way there's something that's been a setback or there's been some delays or there's been actual blocks that have been preventing you from tapping into this fun light-hearted energy so whether this is within you a block that you have been putting on yourself some sort of limitation you put on yourself or if this is just life getting in the way or maybe there's some things that have been coming up some emotional blockages or some things that have been a little bit heavy but you know have trust that you guys will get to this fun happy playful time it's just needing to have trust in the process. Sometimes the elephant comes in our way to steer us in a different direction. Maybe we're not in the right path, down the right road, and you know, maybe you're feeling a little bit lost, but trust that the elephant will steer you in the right direction. And sometimes it may seem like it's a delay or a setback or it's something that sucks in the moment, but when you look back at this situation, it actually brought you to a better place. If it wasn't for that heartbreak, you wouldn't have found your true love. Or, you know, like, there's always those situations in life that we don't understand when we're in it, but after it's passed and as time has gone on and as things have unfolded magically, we are like, holy shit, if it wasn't for this one thing, if it wasn't for that ending, if it wasn't for me losing my job, if it wasn't for this, if it wasn't for that, I would be in a completely different place. So, you know, the elephant works in mysterious ways. And to remember that, even though right now it may not seem like it, you're going to look back at this one day and you're like, aha, I see why that happened. Okay, the elephant also does talk about good luck, so there is some good fortune coming your way. Have trust in that, claim it, believe it, it's already yours. So just let it do its thing, and it'll come your way when the timing's right, when it's meant to be. Your third eye is highlighted, your intuition's on point, pay attention to the signs, symbols, synchronicities, your dream space, and also try to tap into that creativity, right? If you guys are contemplating starting some sort of project or picking something back up, something that you pushed to the sidelines for quite some time and you've been contemplating, maybe I should give it another go, or maybe I should pick this back up or start writing again, start playing music again, start dancing again singing whatever it doesn't it those are just examples whatever it is that you might be contemplating trying out again do it or even if you haven't tried it before and this is your first try your first attempt do it what's stopping you only thing that can really stop you is yourself if you throw that boulder in your own path that's you guys becoming your own block so remove limitations that you put on yourself they're self-inflicted remove other people's opinions because at the end of the day they don't really matter what matters most is what you think of yourself and as long as you're happy and you're not being a shitty person um then that's all that matters right as long as you are living your own life and you're not causing harm in other people's lives then that's all that matters right anyways hmm so some of you are needing to have a little celebration put on some tunes have a little dance party <laughs> um and to have trust 
Oh my god, my dog, she's freaked the fuck out of me. She just made like this crazy sound. <laughs> I don't know if my microphone picked it up, but it scared me for a second. Anyways, we have fire and water being brought into balance, okay? So let's get into this. Let's pull some messages and let's see what the hell is going on. <sighs> Any messages for Gemini, Someone rising Venus for this upcoming week? Usually messages for Gemini, please. What messages do we have for Gemini, Someone rising Venus? Also, just have to say, if you guys have been feeling stuck lately or like just unmotivated or just you feel like you're hitting a brick wall or like your creativity has been shut down or you've hit a creator's block, loss of inspiration, I feel like that is going to pass pretty soon. Overcoming those obstacles, overcoming those blockages, I just have to say. Also, maybe if you've been struggling with inspiration, needing to spice it up a little bit or be a little bit more playful, be a little bit more fun, expand and be more creative or, or study and learn something, do a little bit of researching as to how you can make it more fun for you. Like, that's just something else I'm getting from this. Anyways, any messages for Gemini, someone rising Venus for this week? Messages for Gemini. Okay, the text ready. It doesn't want to shuffle anymore. Messages for Gemini, someone rising Venus for the next week. We have the moon in the reverse. Piscean energy. Messages for Gemini, someone rising Venus. For this upcoming week. Hey man, okay, double Piscean energy. Some of you have some strong Piscean placements in your chart. And like I said, Elephant did come out in Pisces read. Now Pisces read was a bit intense. Okay, um, Pisces, the group I was picking up on, they were going through it. Okay, so some of you may have some strong Piscean placements. You might want to check out that read I just did. Um, oh, look here. We have the Four of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Literally, these three cards came out in Pisces read. So <laughs> I'm just saying very similar. Actually, these four, these four cards. Anyways, bottom of the deck, six of cups, ace of cups in the reverse and the nine of cups. Mm hmm. Seven of pentacles too. Patience is key. No, you're not failing. Stop doubting yourself. Believe in yourself. It's just a matter of time. Okay. Okay, so what am I getting here? There's some sort of enlightenment that you guys are gaining. Maybe you're realizing that, oh shit, I have been my own block. I have been getting in my own way. I have been throwing boulders down my own path, even though deep down I want something to work out. I know I want to be successful. I know that this is my path. This is what I'm supposed to be doing, but yet I'm making things much more difficult for myself and I need to recognize that so I can stop doing it, you know? Um, if not, there might be something that you are realizing there's something coming to light within you or within, you know, relationships perhaps, right? Six of Cups, Ace of Cups in reverse, Nine of Cups. This might be about some sort of past relationship. As you know, it is Mercury retrograde still. So Mercury officially goes direct on the 20th, but we still have the post shadow effect for a couple weeks after. So, um, my God, my hair is driving me crazy right now. It's like static. You know how it goes when it's cold out and it's dry as fuck? That my hair is just like it's just like stop okay mercury officially goes direct on the 20th but we still have the post shadow effect till you know early march so just saying there's still the effects just not as strong there are some past energies coming up there might be some things you guys are reflecting on looking back on getting a little bit more insight wisdom guidance on right and lighting yourself trying to put the puzzle pieces together and try to understand something and forgiving and healing and making peace I feel like for those who are dealing with a past situation or reflecting on something from your past, um, with the Six of Cups, Ace of Cups in the reverse, Nine of Cups, it taught you a lot about yourself. It taught you a lot about your own self-value and your needs and your wants and how you should never settle for less or constantly drain yourself giving, 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 but yet you're receiving nothing like major imbalance with that Ace of Cups universe. Um, I feel like this past situation taught you that you need to put yourself as that first priority and focus on yourself and your needs and the rest will fall into place. It's always, you know, for those who are looking for love, it's always when you stop searching outward and start 
giving yourself that love and appreciation you attract more of it i'm also getting that energy so for those who are looking for love you're wanting love you're reminiscing about past relationships well it's recommended you focus on loving yourself because when you love yourself you attract more of it in your life you attract like-minded people who love themselves come into your life and it's just like power team power, power couple over there so just feeling that energy but it's like yeah some of you could be looking back at some past experiences relationships or even childhood way back just memories are coming up you might be dreaming about things from your past um it's not that you're wanting to start anything new you're just doing a lot of reflection and internal work and looking at yourself maybe you guys have the tendency to self-sabotage connections because you don't want to end up getting hurt or you know there's this queen of swords energy very kind of closed off a little bit like does not wear the heart on their sleeve some of you are like very hesitant to letting people in and you're maybe asking yourself okay but why why am i closed off or why do i have my walls up or like why do i have a difficult time trusting people sometimes i become my own blockage that's okay as long as i'm honest with myself how can i push myself through that so that i'm able to have more fun more joy more pleasure in my life you know like there's different things obviously different scenarios depends on what you're going through right those are just some examples that are coming up but you know you guys are reflecting on some things and doing a lot of inner work within yourself and i'm here for that and it's bringing a lot of healing you're showing a lot of maturity looking at these things these relationships these experiences from a different perspective it shows maturity and you're growing a lot as a person as you're doing that um so definitely i also want to say for this week you guys may need to take some more time out to rest and recharge your battery you guys might be feeling a little bit more lethargic or some of you might be feeling a little under the weather with the four swords you might need to take some time out to just rest get your strength back up get your nutrition eat some good foods your vitamins right have some teas really just take care of yourself and your needs i'm also feeling like the need you guys should be going to bed a little earlier right getting more rest getting more sleep so that you can be more energized to taking action and moving towards things because another thing is like if you guys are trying to get things done in your day-to-day -day life but you just don't have the energy because you're just so tired well that's a block itself right because then you don't get things done and then you feel bad about it and then you kind of just it's like a cycle that you're in and you're feeling stuck you're feeling like in a limbo like i haven't been making moves i haven't been making much progress don't beat yourself up over that okay it's all good but just make sure you're getting enough rest there's a reason why your body's tired there's a reason why you're tired right so allow yourself to rest you're not lazy right so stop saying that <laughs> okay stop with that negative self-talk you need to take care of yourself but definitely if you need to make some adjustments do so i do feel like again that mercury retrograde energy coming up and i've been saying this for like the past month in these readings is like it's asking us to go inward and to do some reflection on ourselves reflecting on things from our past and making us recognize some things that's acting like as a mirror right and therefore then we're able to make a little tweaks and adjustments about ourselves and how we can move forward and better ourselves and live a happier more fulfilling life with the otter energy right so basically what i got we're going to clarify get some more details but that's basically um the shortened version let's get into this okay what am I looking into? Let's go into the moon in the reverse for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this upcoming week. Moon in the reverse for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Trust your intuition, right? Trust the process. Trust that every single step you take is leading you closer and closer to your goals. We have the Three of Wands, slow but steady. Right, the moon in the reverse we have the two of pentacles in the reverse moon in the reverse gemini page of swords in the reverse hmm bottom of the deck empress in the reverse six of swords king of swords okay also the devil there could be a little bit of past energy lingering <laughs> i just have to say um it's like you're moving forward you're moving towards times where you can grow where you can expand 
but there is a little bit of that past energy creeping up. If you're thinking about this individual or multiple people, right, from your past, I'm pretty sure that they'd be thinking about you too. It's like the energy is mutual. So if you've been feeling it, I'm sure they've been feeling it too. If they randomly appear in your mind or you're randomly thinking about it or something triggers you to think about a memory, it's like you're picking up on their energy as well. Like there's an energetic pull, there's still some sort of connection, just saying. So if you've been feeling that lately, you're like, what the hell, why is this coming up? Don't worry, it's just Mercury retrograde doing his thing. Um, Anyways, talking about you guys moving forward. As you're moving forward, you need to trust your intuition. Your intuition is guiding you. Your higher self is guiding you and you need to trust the process. But as you are doing that, you're also needing to come up with a plan. A plan that will support you along this journey to get to your fulfillments and your wishes and your dreams and the best possible outcome you could ever wish ask for, right? You're needing to have some sort of plan that will support you, an idea doesn't have to be from A, B, C, D all the way to Z, right? Life gets in the way, some things are out of control, things we don't plan for come up, but just having an idea and taking it nice and slow as there is no rush. Move at your own pace. As you're doing that, you have some sort of decision, two of pentacles in the reverse. It looks like you made up your mind. You weighed out your options about something. You were going back and forth, juggling a decision. What do I do? Or maybe this is someone feeling that towards you with the page of swords in the reverse. No communication. Perhaps someone is thinking about you, right? That Six of Cups energy, wondering, what do I do? They see that you're slowly moving on, making moves, and they're like, should I say something? Should I not? I don't think that there's much going on here, to be honest, though, because then at the bottom of the deck, we have Empress in the reverse. So it's just like, there wouldn't be any growth. And they see that you're moving on. Six of Swords with the King of swords we also have a perfect pair king to the queen just saying so this could have been some sort of partner in the past i feel like there could be this energy of someone seeing you as the one that got away but they recognize that there's not much they can do about it like doors closing that could be why you're thinking about this past um person could be a taurus or a libra we do have quite a bit of libra energy coming out and the air. Anyways, um, you're moving towards peaceful times. You don't really, I don't really see you focusing too much on the past. Yes, it's coming up. You're reflecting on it, but I don't think you have much to give to the past. Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. Because we also had the devil. So like there could have been some unhealthiness behaviors in the past or things just went sour. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Let's look into the hangman. Hangman for Gemini, summonizing Venus for this upcoming week. Turn to the hangman for Gemini, someone as Venus for the next week. The fool. Turn to the hangman for Gemini, someone as Venus, six of wands, nice. Hangman. Temperance. Wow, lots of major arcana in this spread. Um, so we have Aries, Aquarius, and Sagittarius coming out, as well as Leo. We also have the Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Wands in the reverse. Okay, we'll talk about that. So I feel like this goes back to you guys causing delays, causing blocks, or even if it's just like fears or self doubt, or like, you know, those thoughts that you have that creep up, like, what if it doesn't work out? Should I come up with a backup plan? Like, what if this, what if that? worst case scenario coming up, creeping up, even if you don't really believe it, there's still moments that you have and you're like, oh fuck, am I actually doing this? Is this a good idea? Like there's some doubts that you might be feeling creeping up, but you need to push through that. You're needing to have the courage to just keep going and believe in yourself and trust and be confident. And I know that's not always easy, but there is this new beginning, the fool, but it's delayed hangman. It's like, you see the opportunities there. Like you're not really taking much action to go towards it. You're just kind of stuck. Like, you know, you're so nervous. You're so anxious. You, can, you can't even move forward. You can't even like take that leap. You can't take that jump because you're just so scared. Your heart's racing. Palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, <laughs> you know? But just know that you're guided, you're protected on this journey. There's something new that's starting and it looks it looks great. Six of Wands. Oops, I did not mean to throw that. Six of Wands. 
lots of eyes on you so I understand the pressure that you may feel like oh god everyone's looking at me everyone's watching my step every move I'm feeling anxious there's a bit of nervousness here the six of wands like you don't want to mess up you don't want to make a mistake there's always going to be mistakes no one's perfect we all grow we all learn all your hard work is gonna pay off so regarding your career your passions creativity things that you want to pursue it looks like it will move in your favor and to trust that okay it's all about you guys need to just reach this place peace of mind temperance energy if you're starting to feel yourself get a little overwhelmed or stressed out anxious pull away for a bit Spend some time alone, go on a little nature walk, a little nature hike, get some fresh air, right? Be in your element, the air. Focus on replenishing yourself, your needs, your cup, okay? If you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, you're needing to take a day to recharge, to get that strength back up. Okay, I'm getting that heavily. Just trying to calm the mind, right? Taking control over your mind. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, four of wands in the reverse so there's like a bit of instability here there's lack of a solid foundation that you're needing to support yourself and ground yourself three of pentacles and the ace of pentacles there's support around you you're learning you're growing you're open to new ideas there could be collaboration and brainstorming with people it's gonna take some time it's gonna be a journey it's gonna be a process like i said with the fool this is the start of something new but the longer you doubt yourself, the longer you feed into those fears, the more you're delaying the process and slowing things down from coming to fruition, you know? So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Four Swords, let's get into that. The Gemini, Summonizing Venus for this upcoming week. Oh my goodness, Seven of Pentacles trying to come out. Patience is necessary. Four of Swords for Gemini, Summonizing Venus. Okay, can I please shuffle on this last one? Okay, fine. Four of Swords for Gemini, Summonizing Venus. Four of Cups. Yeah, okay. Four of Swords for Gemini, the Magician. Four of Swords for Gemini, Summonizing Venus. Four swords for Gemini. Okay, judgment. Wow, there's lots of major arcana in this read. And the five of pentacles. Bottom of the deck, seven of pentacles. There it is again. Five of swords, the devil. <sighs> seven of swords in the inverse. You guys, please, please be mindful of negative self-talk. I'm also feeling like there is a bit of boredom or like there's, again, that need to spice some things up. Career or passion or creative endeavor or a project you've been working on but like your inspiration is kind of fading you're like oh crap here we go again always happens right there's that negative self-talk like i knew this was gonna happen obsessing over what if this what if that what if this what if that and potentially ruining things for yourself also seven of pentacles it's all about patience right but if you don't have that patience you start to doubt you start to wonder am i failing am i any am i going anywhere what if this doesn't work out what if i'm not supported right oh my gosh right you get way in your head and the universe is just like yo gemini snap out of it um recognize that you can manifest anything that you wish you have the tools you have the smarts you have the brains you have the creativity to make this happen so what are you gonna do about it you're gonna just sit there focus on what you don't have focus on what's lacking all oh, but i don't have this and i don't have that or are you going to just enjoy the ride enjoy the journey every single step not Every day is going to be action-packed and go, 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 go. Some days are going to be slow. That's just part of the process. And again, <laughs> need to have the patience for that, okay? You might not be seeing the fruits come just yet. You need to just sit, wait, take care of that garden, water it, give it the nutrients, give it sunlight, it's time to grow. I guarantee that this will be worth it in the end. If you take your time with this and you build that solid foundation, it'll last a lot longer than if you were to rush and half-ass it. And yes, okay, it takes off so quickly, so fast, woo, but then it fades just as quickly. So 
you know, just remember that. And so when you're having those moments, those moments where you're starting to doubt yourself, definitely take the time to go inward, do a little meditation, go on a little nature walk, get some sunlight, right? Get some vitamin D and trust the process. I know no one likes to hear that, but it's true. Like it's just a process, it's a journey. Queen of Swords. Try the Queen of Swords for Gemini summarizing Venus. For this week, Queen of Oh, whoa, that was weird. I literally just felt like a wave of like dizziness for a split second. I felt like that was weird. I don't know how to explain it. That was whack though. Okay, Queen of Swords. For Gemini, someone nice and Venus. Some of you might be experiencing dizziness. I don't know. Sometimes I get pick up on physical symptoms. It's whack. There's that sound of helicals coming out again. Double confirmation. Queen of Swords. What do we have here? Two of Swords. Yo, got a decision. Which fell on top of the Two of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands. Getting perseverance from this. Pushing through, not giving up, not quitting. Definitely take breaks, right? You're strong for as long as you need to be strong. But you don't always have to be strong 24-7. Especially if there are some past things coming up. It's hard to stay focused. It's hard to get things done when your thoughts and mind are elsewhere. If you need to take time out, please do it. You're gonna need it. Um, oof, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Yeah, so there's some emotional things that are coming up. So like there's two different things going on. You guys are focusing on your career or some sort of creative endeavor or project, but you're kind of having doubts come up, creep up. You're trying to stay positive, but there's still moments where you fall back to old ways, old habits, old mindsets that could sabotage. You're trying to overcome it and you are. It's just needing to have patience and all of that and recognize that you are capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. On top of that, you got some things from your past coming up, your memories, dreams, things that you are trying to heal and accept and release and surrender and just let it go, but it's a process and it doesn't happen overnight. Like overall, there's a lot of things that you're trying to process and accept and surrender to and it's, you know, it can get a bit intense at times. There's a decision coming up and whatever this decision is, is relating to you guys searching for some sort of truth. This might even be relating to that hangman in the moon in the reverse energy, like that enlightenment or truth coming to light or realizing something, something where you felt confused about ace of swords in the reverse, about a situation that left you feeling heartbroken or betrayed or someone messed up your trust or like something that happened in the past obviously came to an end and that might be coming up this mercury retrograde or has been on your mind recently so there's some sort of decision are you going to keep looking for answers or just leave it as it is and so as you're looking back at these past experiences or this heartbreak you're just like yeah i deserve so much better than that shit you know like <laughs> right like you do you do i don't know there's some sort of decision but whatever you end up deciding Trust in the outcome. Um, let's take a look into... I don't really even want to look into the past. Let's look into the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups for Gemini, someone rising Venus. Tell me the Nine of Cups for Gemini, someone rising Venus for this weekly reading. Nine of Cups for Gemini, Summonizing Venus. Two of Cups. Ooh. Eight of Swords. Okay, so there's a. F oh, that's what I was getting earlier. It's like if you guys sabotage potential relationships from coming in because you're fearful of ending up in similar situations. Again, it's like you're blocking yourself. Nine of Cups for Gemini. Eight of Pentacles. You're working through it. King of Swords, Three of Cups, and the Sun. There's a lot of good stuff coming your way, Gemini. So stop being your own block. And it's time to work through these fears. And recognize these blocks. And ask yourself, why do I feel this way? You might not get an answer right away. But if you sit with yourself, you do some journaling, you do some shadow work, you have some honest conversations with yourself starting to unlearn certain habits or certain mindsets 
certain ways of being, doing, sabotaging ways, right? Um, and as you're doing that, you're like working through it. You're working through these fears and, you know, you're starting to open up a little bit more. Doesn't mean that you're gonna be foolish and go in blindly. No, King of Swords, you know what you want. You're not gonna waste your time. But, you know, you trust yourself enough that, hey, I'll pay attention to the signs and if I get any red flags, you already know I'm out, right? Three of Cups and the Sun. There's lots of good times, lots of good times. It's that otter energy. Stop blocking yourself from good things that are trying to come in. Not everyone's out to get you. Not everything is going to hurt you. I know it's hard to believe, <laughs> um, but there's a lot of good stuff coming your way. Lots of celebratory energy. Some of you might have some sort of celebrations coming up or something to, you know, be proud of your accomplishments. There's so much to be proud of yourself, your healing, your journey, the process you've made, the work you've done. <laughs> Round of applause, you know, like, you deserve it. So there's opportunities here to celebrate, to enjoy all your hard work and to open up and say, you know what? I'm ready for love. I'm ready for whatever it is that I want, right? A magician, anything you want. It doesn't have to be love. It doesn't have to be whatever. You got your free will. <sighs> um, yeah. So let's get some Takashi messages and then we're gonna end the read. Any Takashi messages for Gemini, Summonize, and Venus? I know there's like a lot of different messages, so of course, just take this for you. Messages for Gemini, Summonize, and Venus for this week. Any Takashi messages for Gemini, Summonize, and Venus? Takashi messages for Gemini, Summonize, and Venus. We have spontaneity, and that fell right on top of the magician. You guys need to be more spontaneous. Have more fun, that otter energy, right? Get out of your head. Inspiration, I love to see that, especially for those who have been struggling with inspiration and gentleness, yeah. Okay, so spontaneity. Have fun, express your love and do something unusual or different. Get out of your head and into your heart. Planning certainly needs a place in your life, which is what I was saying with that three of wands. But don't allow self-imposed rules and limitations to stop you from expressing who you are. Now is also, although now is not the time for impulsive spending. Okay, so save your money this week. I know you might have temptations to go on a little shopping haul or shopping spree. Save your money right now, okay? Be spontaneous on the inside. Think kind thoughts where none have gone before. Inspiration. The river of all knowing allows every possibility to be open to you. Allow yourself to tap into this vastness. Be inspired by the beauty that surrounds you. Be inspired to open yourself to the riches that the world has to offer. And any moment you can allow impersonal thinking to set you free. Which moment will you choose? And gentleness. Be gentle with yourself and others. Let go of those harsh judgments. Tread gently upon the earth with reverence for life. Spend some time surrounded by nature and feel the gentle flow of growth around and within you. It's not to be forced, but gently nurtured and loud. Gentleness is a strength. Feel its awesome power. So, Gemini. That's what I got for this weekly reading. If you guys found this insightful or helpful in any way, please let me know in the comments below. If you guys are interested, you can go follow me over on my Instagram at jadestonetarot. And with that being said, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.